No, 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 I'm not. All, no, I'm not all right. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not all right. I'm not all right. Do you realize with Jackson Arnold at quarterback and Seth Luttrell calling the plays, Oklahoma is 4 of 25 on third down? 4 of 25? It's one thing to go 0 for 11, but you score 51, you allow three against Temple at home. Okay, all right, sure. It's quite another that Tatum Taylor can't pass pro, that Jackson Arnold can't get rid of the football. That Deion Burks is the best player on the team and we refuse to feed him the rock. It is one thing for Oklahoma to get into a dogfight come SEC competition. All right, cool. Right? You know what I'm saying? But if you do this against Tennessee, we cooked. We, 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 ooh, offensively, we so cheeks right now. I'm over here looking up at the ceiling going, Lord. What must I do? Proverbs 3, 5. What must I do with Isaac on the mountaintop? Because I will do it against Houston. Houston. This, no, 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 no. This ain't Tom Herman's Houston. This ain't even Dana Holgerson Houston. This is a Houston squad that lost to UNLV, which has the football program 27 to 7. And we in a dogfight with Houston at home at night. This ain't Kansas State. Hell, this ain't even Tulane, who we got to see next week, who damn near beat K-State. And then we got Tennessee in two weeks. And Tennessee just put a whooping on a top 25 opponent at a neutral site. What are we doing with this, man? 13 first downs against Houston. We can't muster more than 200 yards against Houston. We can't run the football. We can't stay out of our own ways. We got the quarterback sacked three times. You know, praise God for Brent Venables in the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they wasn't great. They wasn't great. They was giving up stuff out in front of them. But, four, I mean, God, my goodness, 12 points. If we don't – Lincoln Riley squad would have given up 38 to this team. If not for Brent Venables, we don't get to go to 2-0, but I'm not really concerned about being at 2-0 right now because we're 2-0, but I'm really concerned about what we're going to do when we've got to play these class competition teams. Do you realize that while Ole Miss and Missouri ain't played anybody outside of 5A high school classification so far this season, they look real good. They own, they own the schedule. LSU got back on the good foot. They ain't beat a team in FBS all year long, but they came back and they put up points against Nichols. These are all teams on our schedule, but Nico Iamaliava – might cook us. I don't know. I know one damn thing. Tim Banks is turning the screws on the defense, and we can't move the football. I thought perhaps, perhaps, Javante Barnes might be about something. But 9 for 33? I need somebody somewhere, somehow, to find a way to win football games with this program in a way that don't have me defending the offense, the offense. Hell, we can always score. That, that, that's been true since I was a small child. Hell, you got to go back to 1999, the last time we couldn't score. We are the same program that took a knee in the third quarter because we was up 77 on A&M, and we can't do nothing against Houston at home. Donovan Smith looked like a ghost of himself last week, couldn't move the ball at all against Vegas. Then all of a sudden, he get to Norman, and we going to actually give them a ball game? You know, Willie Fritz is looking at us, and instead of going for it on fourth down, he's punting down two late in the fourth quarter because he thinks he's going to get the ball back. Now, again, Oklahoma came up with, with a safety to give us back the ball, which was the real thing, because you're up two, what's the safety going to do, give you two points? No, you were forced to point us the point, punt the ball back to us, and we can probably run it out, run out the clock. I get all of that. We understand. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. That's not, no. Houston is supposed to be Houston against Oklahoma. They're not supposed to be Ole Miss, Tennessee, Missouri, Alabama, LSU, these are all programs we got to play this year. 
Y'all got us out here. At, when Texas can go mollywop Michigan in Ann Arbor, and it ain't close, what we cannot do is be in a ball game in the state of Oklahoma in Norman against another damn Texas team that ain't no good. Somebody, some, so I, I need, I need Brent to read everybody riot act tomorrow because something, something has happened. Perhaps the the boys need to stop watching me. Stop watching the show. You know what? Forget it. You, if, if that's what it's gonna take, and you ain't got to hear me talking about you and the SEC, then get up out of here. Put the blinders on. Take their phones. Get them focused and ready to play, cause this will not stand, man. Seth Luttrell got some explaining to do. Because Seth Luttrell's play calling is looking a lot like Jeff Levy's play calling in 2022. And we ain't got a year to figure this out. I can't go through another 2022. Now, can't none of us go through another 2022. We don't have losing football seasons at Oklahoma. We have only 10 win-plus seasons at Oklahoma. We win championships at Oklahoma. And Seth Luttrell should know this better than anybody else. You know, we got this thing where we behind these coordinators. They got some baggage. Not baggage, but some backstory with Oklahoma. Maybe we need to stop doing that. Maybe we need to stop doing that. Something needs to change. I'm, I'm telling you, scoring, scoring 16 and being happy about it at Oklahoma got me shaking my fist at the lens here. Something got to change. I'm not into it. I don't think any Oklahoma fan is into it. Hell, I already had to watch TU blow a lead to Arkansas State. I had to watch Arkansas blow a lead to Oklahoma State. And y'all going to have me out here pulling what little hair I got out of my hair? I got gray beards. I'm getting grayer and grayer. But I swear to God, I aged five years watching this game. Which one of us did not age five years watching this game? Can you see that I'm serious about this? Can you see that you you playing with my emotions out here? Okay. You know what? You know what? You know, you know what it is? It's them damn uniforms. It's them damn throwbacks. Every time we want to change up the uniform, something bad happened. Put the gold patch on. For, for, for Texas, got our asses beat. Wear them Rough Rider uniforms. Everything is going to go bad. Now we wear throwbacks. Nope, 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 nope. We are doing straight up home, straight up away jerseys the rest of the way. I don't want to hear nothing else about no alternate nothing ever. Ever. Get it the hell up out of here. You thought you could be cute. We can't be cute. We have, we have given up every opportunity to be cute from here on out. Nothing. Atta. Nothing. Get in the book, get in the film room, rededicate your life to him, and let's go win football games. If it sounds like I'm upset because we are 2-0, and it's because of the way in which we are 2-0. and This is not a sport where being undefeated alone is going to guarantee you a damn thing. This ain't the NFL. We harder than that. You got to impress us. There is nothing impressive about what Oklahoma has done offensively all year long. And if not for the praise God defense, we'd be in a deeper hole than we are. Fix it. Fix it today.